What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of No Holds Barred Wrestling Radio Podcast. I'm your host, Kyle. Uh, I'm alone in the studio today. Um, we're Basically, we're going to do a monthly podcast at every WWE pay-per-view, which we start going to. Uh, but there's some stuff going on in the wrestling world today that I uh, kind of just want to throw a podcast out there. And uh, I think that's what we're going to do, just throw some random, out, random ones out there, you know, keep you guys tuned in. Uh, so I'll just jump right into it today. Uh, big story that I've been reading on all the wrestling websites, if you will. Uh, Kevin Nash and his son. Uh, if you haven't heard anything yet, uh, we have TMZ reporting that uh, Kevin Nash and his son were arrested for battery. Uh, I guess his son, the story Kevin Nash told police was that his son came home drunk. Uh, he was being diligent and uh, towards Nash and his wife. I guess he spit in his face and elbow checked, Kevin said. Uh, then Kevin, I said, guess pinned, he said he pinned him, his son to the ground. And his son then scratched his face. Uh, Tristan, who is Kevin Nash's son, told police a different story, saying that when he came home, Kevin Nash was yelling at his son about his relationship and I guess choke slammed him. So he used a wrestling move at home which is, you know, not surprising. But Kevin Nash choke slammed Tristan to the ground, and I guess that's when Tristan said he blacked out because of the slam to the ground so hard. Now, I think there's something else going on here. Uh, I don't believe that we've gotten the whole story, obviously. I guess, you know, as TMZ, you don't want to tell them too much because they'll just exploit everything. Uh, I need. I think we're going to wait till this blows over, and then I guess we'll... Maybe later down the line we'll find out the details, but a little bit controversial right there. You know, there's there's something we don't see going on right now. Like maybe something to do with Kevin Nash's wife because out of both stories, Kevin Nash's wife did you know fuck all, which you know I think something has she has something to do with this right now. But will Kevin Nash even get fired? I mean, this is an incident WWE doesn't like to have on their image. Like, is he gonna get fired? Is he gonna get released? You know, is his legend contract getting terminated? Like, we know that. WWE has suspended his Legends contract until this gets resolved because they don't want to get rid of him yet, I presume, because of the Raw advertising in January, the go-home show for Royal Rumble. Nash is advertised with HBK and some other Legends that night. So maybe they want to hang on till then, and then right after that, they'll terminate his contract. Bye-bye, Kevin Nash. Uh, he's recently pulled out of an indie event. He pulled out an MCW event. I guess yesterday, so they're still looking like they're trying to resolve that. And I, as far as I know, I'm highly doubting that he'll even be on that Raw and the Go Home show, which is not necessarily a huge loss if he's not there. I mean, they bring back enough legends and they shove Hulk Hogan down our throats all the time with these promoting schemes of his. The whole Hulk Hogan from Christmas, which is pretty horrendous. So I, I don't think we'd suffer a huge loss in a way. If he wasn't there, but you know, it's, it's news, right? So we'll see who knows. Maybe Kevin Ash will stay able to get it resolved by then. Maybe he'll get fired. We'll, we'll see. I just hope that he does the right thing for the right reason as they've kind of not done all the best in 2014 with a lot of other superstars. But anyways, uh, let's move on to another story here. Uh, AJ Lee, uh, I guess she is actually injured. That's why she's not on TV anymore. I guess they were supposed to do an injury angle. And they never did. But apparently she's been working injured. Through her little Divas title for the last couple months. Their little Divas title in the last couple months. She's been working injured. And they didn't do an injury angle. I guess she's going to return in 2015. So everyone thought that she's going to be done with the company. Because Punk's now at UFC. And she would just, you know, go and support him. But I guess she is coming back. But this is, like, more proof of what Punk was saying back in his shoot with Cole Cabana on his podcast. They're making the wrestlers wrestle injured. Why? Like, write them off. Like, have them appear the next week if they get injured. Like, write them off story. It's not that hard. Creative can make a story like that. Like, it doesn't take that quick. Or it doesn't take that long. But this is, again, it all goes back to what 
Punk said in that interview. He they they don't take care of the wrestlers, so they just made AJ Lee work injured, potentially injuring her even more. And they wonder why their superstars are always out longer than expected. I mean, you get lucky sometimes, and they come back early, like John Cena, obviously. But like, I just don't understand how you can make someone wrestle injured. It's like. In hockey and other sports, when you're injured, you're injured. You don't play. I mean, there's other times, like in the playoffs, where they've you know played injured. But you know, you go for your 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 rehab, your rehab, and you get better. Like, don't make them wrestle injured. You wonder why they get all these long term injuries. Like, WWE's got to figure that shit out because that's that's wrong. I mean, AJ Lee's probably gonna be the next diva legend, like up there with Trish Stratus. And Tori Wilson and all the top divas that used to be here. But they're not going to have a long run with her if they keep making her do this. So, so speaking of divas, uh, I guess there's a controversial scene in the upcoming Total Divas season where apparently it's being reported that they eat spiked brownies. I guess they're spiked with marijuana, which is pretty shocking, to say the least. Whether or not this is going to be shown in on TV, if WWE's going to edit it out or E's going to edit it out, who knows? Maybe they'll keep it on. Like, are they trying to spice the show up, I guess? Like, what's going on? I don't know. Like, what's... What's going on here? I, I When I read this, I, I had to, like, double read it because... What else do you say to this? I mean, and I guess they were drinking an extensive amount of alcohol as well. It's being reported. And this all goes against WWE's wellness policy. Like Everything that is reported that's going to be taking place in one of these episodes. I mean, I'm going to watch Soul Divas just because my girl Paige is on there this season. Though I'm definitely going to watch every single episode. And this is going to make me want to watch and see what episode this is actually going to air on. Or they're going to cut it out. But apparently they're eating spiked brownies. We Divas. Getting stoned on Total Divas. Wow. Never see the day. Never think I would see the day that weed would be incorporated with WWE. Insane. Anyways, we're going to move on. Uh, It is being reported that WWE wants Bray Wyatt and Undertaker for WrestleMania 31. Uh, I guess they don't want Wyatt to put over Ambrose right now just if that feud ever does happen so this is why Wyatt keeps gaining momentum and beating Ambrose Wyatt versus Taker I think would be a fantastic match uh, I believe they can put on a really good 20-25 minute match that's if Taker is 100% healthy uh, we've heard nothing since Wrestlemania 30 last year that's you know we're going to have to get used to if Taker plans on keep doing these one-year WrestleMania matches over and over again. I mean, this is taking a toll on his body, and that last match with Brock Lesnar is taking a huge toll because Brock Lesnar is brutal in the ring. I don't know if this match is actually going to take place. If they can't f- have Taker come back, who knows who Bray Wyatt Maybe Bray Wyatt will face Sting. I could see that maybe being a, a good feud at WrestleMania too, or, you know, Something like that. Like, Bray Wyatt can put over anyone at this point. So, they just want a really good feud for this WrestleMania 31 card because, so far, this year's WrestleMania is predictable. We all know who's going to win the Royal Rumble, and we all know who's going to win the title of WrestleMania. So, I guess they want, you know, more of a reason for more fans to tune into this WrestleMania and to make it, you know, another unbelievable WrestleMania just like the past months. They always want to make the WrestleMania better than the last year. So, this is a good idea, I think. So, another thing I guess we'll talk about then is uh, the Ascension. The Ascension is supposed to make their debut, I guess, sometime this week, whether or not it's Raw or SmackDown. They haven't really made clear. They just said they were coming in their vignettes. Uh, I think this is good. The Ascension is a really power- or dominant tag team in NXT. Um, I'm loving that they're finally getting their shot. Uh, whether or not they get a instant title shot right away or not, I don't think they should. I think they should just build 
up the i know they've already built up them up in nxt but i think they should build them up on raw um whether or not they're going to be keeping the same gimmick looks like from the vignette so far they're keeping the same gimmick whether or not to be face or heel is the question um i think maybe they'll keep them heel which is what everyone likes is the ascension as heel um I think it can put up a good feud against anyone right now. Uh, I see them putting up a good feud, maybe against the Usos, or maybe just another tag team they can put together. You know, we've seen already that Tyson Kidd and Cesaro are a tag team. Um, so who knows? I mean, the Ascension, we'll have to see what happens with them. And I hope WWE doesn't rush them into a title shot really quickly. Or maybe they will, and have them be dominant, have them hold the tag titles for like a year or something, which I think would be pretty cool. But yeah, the Ascension will debut next week on WWE, either Raw or SmackDown. Other news, uh, we have Orton and Barrett who returned at a live event. Uh, I guess the Christmas live event, MSG, Orton and Barrett came back. Uh, Barrett didn't really wrestle though. He came out and uh, played to the pop and basically said would you like to see Wade Barrett wrestle? And the crowd said, yes. And then he said, you know, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. And then of course gets paraded or just bombarded with booze. Uh, I saw some footage on YouTube uh, and Orton wrestled and he made his return, but I guess there's reports that he got injured in his return match. So you're gone for two fucking months and then you come back for a live event and yet injure yourself. Way to go, Orton. Way to go, bud. Anyways, other news, Cena's Facebook got hacked. I don't know if anyone's seen this. I thought it was really funny. Uh, if you went on John Cena's Facebook, there is a picture of a topless old man smoking, it looks like a cigar. What the hell? So, so WB let someone hack John Cena's Facebook? They got through and hacked his account and started posting these pictures. I love it. You know what? They could have done better and done, done some other, like other funny crap but the picture of the old man i guess it was just like a quick thing before they get caught but yeah john cena's facebook account got hacked uh, i saw some pretty funny comments saying people were saying it was the the lizard beep the the lizard twitter account that's been hacking psn and xbox right now which would be pretty funny if they started doing that because then they, you know they're showing their dominance over their hacking pretty much anything uh but yeah i guess i just i found it comical you know I uh, saw some other comments saying John Cena's Facebook account couldn't kick out at two, which was pretty funny. But yeah, uh, look out other Facebook accounts, I'm guessing. I should say to other WWE Facebook accounts. It looks like they're going to get hacked unless they've found the culprit. But other than that, that's pretty much what's going around in the wrestling world. Uh, I saw some other stuff, but we can leave that for our other podcast episode, which comes up at the Royal Rumble. Be sure to tune in then, guys. January 5th, I'll have them uploaded by the next day. At least I'm going to try my best to have it uploaded. But uh, tune in then. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Uh, Twitter handle is NoelHoldsBarWR. Uh, follow, you can listen to this podcast on SoundCloud. Uh, download for free, whatever you want to do. I We don't really care here. Uh, as long as you guys like the show, leave us a like in, a, in the YouTube video as well. And uh, hopefully we're trying to get a Facebook page going as well. Hopefully that doesn't get hacked. But uh, stay tuned. There's some big things coming up this year for uh, No Holds Barred, guys. So all I can say is stay tuned. And my name is Kyle. That's it for this episode. your bad intentions I'm not down with your complaints I'm not down with your exceptions Get off my ass cause I'm okay